Hey YouTube world, I'm going to try and keep this video as short as possible. Um, just been looking into pH levels of my body lately. Uh, I had a little bit of a problem with um, my urine being too acidic. Uh, my blood pH was fine, my saliva pH was fine, um, but uh, different foods and things that I was consuming and different things that I was doing made my um, uh, urine uh, too acidic. So one thing I've done, I've been uh, cutting way back on carbohydrates, mainly grains. I still have a little bit of carrot and a, a little bit of potato each week, but mainly grains, and that's that's helped a lot of things. I've lost weight, feel better. That's another video. Uh, back to the um, pH balance of urine. Saw this video on um, on YouTube about coffee. I do like coffee. I have probably two to three cups a day, more in winter than summertime, but Anyway, um, let's do a quick test, dip, got to wait 15 seconds, now these test strips I bought online, they're pretty cheap, now I haven't got a very good phone here so I will have to take the reading and Where, that's about the closest one, so five and a half, five point five on the scale, lining that up. All right. So that's quite acidic. Neutral is seven. Ideally, you want your body, saliva, urine, blood, everything to be above seven. Uh, seven is good because that's neutral. If you can go above that, you are alkaline, which is very beneficial, apparently, all the doctors say. So five point five. In the black coffee, there's no sugar, no nothing in it. Okay. Now to neutralize it, I have got a tiny little bit of baking soda. Well, that's what we call it here in the United States. Australia, the UK, it's bicarbonate of soda. Very common, cheap supermarket item. We'll get another test strip. That's about two-thirds of a cup of coffee there, not quite full, but that was probably like one-eighth of a teaspoon. As you saw, it was just a tiny little bit. So we'll wait another 15 seconds, approximately. Now we're at about 7.25 actually closer to 7.5 so I will lay that there and I'll get the first one so you can see the difference in color okay so we went from 5.5 which is very acidic to 7.5 which is beautifully alkaline now it does nothing for the taste. Uh, my first coffee in the morning, <clears throat> I have just a little bit of milk. I don't have sugar in my coffee, okay? My first coffee in the morning, I have just a little bit of milk. Adding that tiny little pinch of baking soda or uh, bicarbonate of soda, the only slightly different taste it gives me with the milk, it tastes like I've got one of those artificial creamers, um, like Cremora or Coffee Made in Australia. Uh, that's all it tastes like. Um, in black coffee, I don't taste at all, nothing. Um, so, yeah, I've been drinking baking soda or bicarbonate of soda in different countries, it's called. I've been drinking half a teaspoon of that in a glass of water at night. And um, you do want to drink it away from your meals, a good couple of hours away from your meals because uh, you don't want to upset your um, digestive uh, acids. But... Um, yeah, that's that's helped really, you know, fix my um, get you know eliminate my uh, urine acidity. I was at about 5.8, 5.9 acidity uh, or pH level in my urine, which is quite acidic. I'm now I've now hit seven, so I'm just working to improve that just a touch more. But you can see there, massive difference. 5.5, that little bit of baking soda uh, made the coffee uh, turned it from acidic to alkaline. So, yeah, definitely a good thing. All right, thanks.